Hi, my cyber friends. My name is Tina, and today I'm going to show you how to do the Bridget Bardo's half updo. After curling your hair towards your face with a two-inch curling iron, apply some dry shampoo to mattify the hair. We're basically removing the shine, and then apply another type of dry shampoo, also known as a powder wax, texturizing powder, a micro powder, or a voluminizing powder. Lightly sprinkle this powder on the roots and rub it in. Now place four fingers on top of your head and clip away all the hair under your hand. If you have bangs, clip away all your bangs instead. You're my only one way. For this type of teasing, I prefer to use the thin side of the comb. However, if you prefer the boar bristle brush, that's okay too. We're going to tease all of the crown and about an inch or two down at the sides and about three inches in the back. I'm telling you guys this in advance so you don't have to sit there and watch me tease my hair for five minutes. And this is how we're going to make our bird nest. Take small sections and pull the hair down towards the roots gently. You don't have to rip your hair to pieces doing this. Just pack the hair down until you create a little hair padding, and you need to make sure you tease not just the back, but the front of the section as well, because this will create a bigger poof for you. When you're done teasing your section, hairspray both sides before moving on to the next section. So tease all the hair that I pointed out to you previously. Now smooth down the top layer with a boar bristle brush, making sure you don't brush out all the teasing. I like to use my hair extensions for hairstyles like this because it adds more volume and it just makes it more glamorous. So if you have hair extensions, this is the time to attach it. And as usual, I'm using my Irresistible Me hair extensions in number two, and I believe it's in uh, 24 inches. I've had this set for about four to five months now, and as you can see, it's still in great shape. I'm going to use a hair padding next, but you can also use a sock instead. Now gather all the hair on the crown and the back and the sides and make a half updo over the hair padding. After tying the elastic, push the hair up and pin it for more volume. At this point, you can add a hair ornament or a bow like I did and we're done. Wait, no, I failed at editing, so we're not done. We have to lightly tease the bangs next. So we're going to hairspray it after we tease it, let it dry, and then brush it out. Now one more thing, I'm going to show you how to get hair off your face during the day and still look cute. Insert the hair into the bobby pin first, and then stick it under the poof, and voila, another cute look. Okay, now we're done. Next week, I have a fancy hairstyle planned for you guys for homecoming and with a hair extension giveaway at that. So be sure not to miss that one. Also, let me know in the comments what other hairstyles you want to see more of in the coming weeks. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give this a thumbs up if you like this hairstyle and subscribe to this channel and my second hair channel to see more cute hair tutorials. Have a wonderful weekend, my friends. I love you. Bye.